Welcome to our place bet guide. This video is part of the Craps Academy series by Pro Craps player and author Bill Collins. The place bet area is located just above the come bet section on the craps table. It is split into two zones, place to win and place to lose, each zone with its corresponding rules. The place bet is a non-contract player-controlled bet that can be made at any time during play on specific numbers. In regular craps, these numbers are the 4, 5, 6, 8, 9, and 10. In crapless craps, you have even more options, including the numbers 2, 3, 11, and 12. A special mechanic of this bet is that on top of placing or removing it, you can pause the bet for a few rolls by telling the stickman turn off my place bets. In this case, the bets you turned off will not be in play again until you tell the dealer to turn them back on. If a losing seven rolls while your bets are turned off, you get those place bets back without losing them. You can also raise or lower the bet amounts on each or all of your place bets in craps as you please. Making a place bet is easy. You simply give your chips to the dealer and tell them which numbers you want to bet on and how much to bet on each number. It's important to note that the positioning of your chips within the zone is crucial, especially when multiple players are betting on the same number. This is so the dealer knows who placed the bet. By default, place bets are off on come out rolls. The player can enable them before the first roll of the dice by telling the dealer work my place bets. Winning a place bet is straightforward. You win your place bet on a number when that number rolls while your place bet is in play on it. A place bet can be won multiple times using just a single starting bet. That's because when you win, the dealer pays your winnings and the bet stays in play until you either take it down, turn it off, or it loses to a seven rolling. Now let's go over a few scenarios. If you want to bet on all six place numbers in regular craps, you'd tell the dealer to place your bets across. If you want to bet on all the numbers except the center numbers, six and eight, you'd tell the dealer to place your bets outside. On the other hand, if you want to bet on all the numbers except the four and 10, you tell the dealer to place your bets inside. Some players prefer to place the even numbers, 4, 6, 8, and 10, because of the lower payback on 5 and 9. Let's discuss the odds, payouts, and house edge for the place bets. For the number 6 and 8, the payout is $7 for every $6 you bet. So, it's essential to keep your bets in multiples of $6 to get the right payouts. The odds of rolling a winning 6 or 8 before a losing 7 rolls are 6 to 5. If you're betting on the numbers 5 and 9, the payout is $7 for every $5 you bet, so you must keep your bets on 5 and 9 in multiples of $5. The odds of rolling a winning 5 or 9 before a losing 7 rolls are 6 to 4. Finally, for the numbers 4 and 10, the payout is $9 for every $5 you place bet. The odds of rolling a winning 4 or 10 before a losing 7 rolls are 2 to 1. For example, say you want to bet $15 units on each of the inside numbers. You would give the dealer $66 in chips and say inside. Then the dealer will split your money as follows. $15 on the 5, $18 on the 6, $18 on the 8, and $15 on the 9. Speaking of house edge, the casino gains a lot of advantage over players because on place bets, only one bet can win on any one roll. However, all place bets are lost when seven rolls during the shooter's turn. The payout and house edge varies depending on which numbers you place your bet on, with the six and eight having the lowest house edge among them. Alternatively, in Europe, Australia, and on some new shoot to win tables, you might even find a place to lose bet each place to lose bet wins when the seven rolls before the number that was bet. All your place to lose bets win when the seven end the shooting turn, but each is lost as they get picked off one by one. The payouts for the place to lose bets are the following. Four and 10 pay 11 to five. Five and nine pay five to eight. And six and eight pay four to five. You have as much control over bet size increases, reductions, bet being called off or removed, as you do with regular place bets. Now talking about the classic place bet, 
also called the place to win bet. It is always wise to know how many bets you need to win to reach your breakeven point for how many place bets you are making. For example, if you are place betting across, you have six bets at risk of losing on every roll in your effort to have more of a chance of winning one of them on each roll. Betting across makes it to where you have to win about five times on those bets before the losing seven rolls just to get your bets paid for. Betting inside on the four inside numbers, you'll have to win four times before you see any profit after the losing seven is rolled. Betting just six and eight requires at least two wins to end up ahead after the final seven is rolled. In addition to place betting the six and eight, a lot of casino craps tables, both online and land-based, have a betting area in the corners of the table with a big six and eight in boxes. Some players tend to use these bets because they are self-serviced and you get paid even money if you bet either and win. On the other hand, if you give your bet to the dealer and tell him to place bet the six and or eight instead, you get paid $7 for every $6 bet because place bets have a better payout. To wrap things up, the place bet in craps gives you maximum control over your bets at all times, making it a preferred betting method for many players. We hope this guide has provided you with a clear understanding of place bets in craps. Thanks for watching and good luck at the tables.